guys! So today I thought I'd do another chit chat videos. Had some stuff on my mind. So um, today I want to talk about what it's like to be a single mother. I'm sure some of you out there know and some of you probably may not know. So yeah, I am a single mother. A little bit background. My daughter is currently two years old. Um, her dad and I was never in a relationship. I'm not perfect, things happen, but I've known her dad for a very long time. And um, yes, he's in her life, but you know, he could always do better. But what matters is Ava is happy, Ava is healthy, and Ava has enough stuff, if that makes sense. She has everything she needs. And she's very loved and taken care of. So, that whole baby daddy story would be another video. So, I just want to go over some stuff. What it's like to be a single mother. Like the bad and the good that comes along with it. And experiences that I have dealt with so far. Um, and things I've been feeling. So, let's begin. So, I don't have anything specific to say because I just want to say it just what's on my mind. I always get nervous, you guys, when I'm doing a sit-down video versus when I just vlog. Like, I feel like I'm put on the pedestal, on pressure, and whatever. So, like, so many things have happened to me and just stuff that comes along with being single. I already knew that I was going to get like some negative feedback or looks or stares. Um, let's see. So like, I already had stuff in my mind when I found out I was pregnant. And you know, in most families that are strict and maybe religious, you know, it just doesn't look good that you're pregnant with a child with no dad around or let alone have a kid and you're not married. That was probably something that I thought I was gonna end up with. You know, marriage, child, house. But that didn't happen and um, I just had a baby. I wasn't married. Um, so I probably did let down my parents because, you know, they did their best to raise me growing up. They were pretty strict. I've never done anything bad. And I only knew one person in my life, which was a cousin who had a teen pregnancy. And a lot of girls that I knew in high school got pregnant when they were like 16, 15. Yeah, 16, 18 even. And sex wasn't even on my mind during that time. So, and you would think, you know... I didn't, I didn't end up becoming a teen pregnant chick, but I ended up being pregnant in my 30s, what, when I was like 30, 32, 33? I can't think right now. So, I guess I feel like I let down my parents. I still think about that until now, but it is what it is. Um, another thing is like when I go out, I don't have a wedding ring, a wedding band, I have a child. And I think also because I do look young, I guess, but I don't think that young. But those are thoughts in my head. Like when I go out, I don't have a ring, so I'm not married, but I have a child with me. And I feel like people are staring and they're like, oh, she's probably a single mom. Oh, she's probably a young teen who had sex. Um, of course, unprotected and just had a baby, stuff like that. That That's what goes in my head. And when I see, you know, a child with their dad spending time eating, shopping, whatever, it makes me feel sad, lonely, uncomfortable, and wishing that my daughter would have that experience. Even though her dad is in her life, again, it's another story. But... When I see it, it's just like, oh, it's so sweet, it's so cute. And then I feel like when people see me, they have all those judgment looks in their eyes. But maybe they're not, maybe they are, I don't know, but that's how I feel. And just in general, like, and people assume you're like 
this slut or whatever or you're stupid and we thought better about you so those are some of the negative stuff that I've been thinking off and on I try not to let it get to me but certain days when I'm having a bad day about something else and those stuff will trigger when I'm out with my daughter um, also having to manage a lot of things <laughs> everything's by yourself when it comes to doing groceries when you make plans you basically you can't you can't make your personal plans like you used to and for me even when I didn't have a baby I didn't do much stuff I don't have friends just to hang out with on an everyday basis so that was an issue but then you know there are days when I want to be myself I want to go out I don't I feel a little regret if I were to go out which I have been out like once in a blue moon with people here and there I feel guilty because I feel like I'm leaving my daughter um, at home I'm leaving her out of my life even though you know we all need our me times I have this little like guilt trip and I feel sad as like as like I'm eating hanging out with my friends I'm like oh I feel bad leaving Ava she could have been eating next to me and then also you know I'm blessed that my parents watch my daughter um, but days I do go out and they watch them I feel bad about that too so that's always in my head and then you're always having to plan things ahead of time. You, you're the one that have to take them to the doctors. Um, you're with them 24 seven, if not, you know? So what I was trying to say is you basically are doing everything on your own, pretty much 100% of the time. When I'm not at work, I'm with Ava. Pretty much all day unless I have to do something by myself which is really rare you know when I go to the stores and I take her sometimes it's hard sometimes it's easy it depends on her mood I you know of course you always have to get ready ahead of time pre-pack you know the diapers the bottles the snacks the wipes the extra clothes because you don't know what's gonna happen. Your baby is unpredictable. She might be vomiting, she might spill something, she might make a mess, she might poop, she might pee. So you you have to prepare and plan things every time you go out with a child. Because they might be in good shape, they might be in bad shape. Whether it's a little boo-boo or a big boo-boo, like an emergency, you just don't know. And you know, if your your kid is behaved, it's 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 so peaceful going out, having fun, seeing her smile. But when she's having her moment and she doesn't listen, it's a struggle. It's very stressful. It causes anxiety. You're trying to handle you know the grocery shopping. You're trying to get things done, but at the same time, you're watching your daughter, making sure she is safe, making sure she doesn't run away or run off. Because sometimes you do let your child walk, and as she gets older, he or she gets older you let them walk because they're curious and they touch things you have to like make sure you don't you know hit something grab something break something and it's hard and you know some stores you go into it's so stuffy it's like you already have anxiety and you, the last thing you need is your child going crazy and you having a panic attack and you're sweating and it's stuffy does that make sense you go crazy and some days it gets so bad you're literally have to, sh to shut everything out when you're with your child and you want to cry and there's days when you want to cry and scream you can't because you don't want to scare your child and some days it gets so hard I probably had this incident off and on with Ava she acts up really bad on some days and I literally we had to sit in the car and just try relax before we go out until she calms down or something or sometimes she'll cry for no reason and this is me and her so those are some of the struggles when I'm, I'm out and about with her. And then so the fact that I'm pretty much always by myself, whether or without Ava, but especially with Ava, you know, let alone trying to juggle things at the same time as making sure that she's okay, um, you know, making sure she's safe. I also have to be aware that I'm a woman and, you know, there's no one no extra help, no extra person to help out or, you know, look. 
I literally have to look at her at all times. Even when I'm grabbing something, I'm looking at her while grabbing something. That makes sense because this world is crazy. Like, I get so paranoid while the stuff you see on TV with people just randomly kidnapping your child in public places, in stores, the doll store, or Walmart. One second of not looking at your child. That can happen. And since Ava's walking, she's all over the place, I I run after her. <laughs> and so that's always on my mind. And it is stressful, but it's something that you have to get used to. And it gets tiring at times because there's no second body to help you out, you know, because we only see her dad like <sighs> once or twice every other week or something depends on his mood and his work schedule. Um, so yeah, I have some other stuff on my mind. Oh, so another thing, um, I'm so happy that I have a daughter. I'm so happy that we have a good relationship. She's growing every day. She looks up to me. She called me mama. I was reading one of my old, um, entries because I write letters to my daughter um, so she'll see it when I'm gone or whatever. But, um, one of the entries, I was like, I can't wait for the day that you call me mama. And that's something that means the world to me. So, the fact that I'm a single mom, there's days that I sit and I'm so angry at myself, um, that I brought her into this world without a dad it's not her fault like she, she doesn't deserve to not have a mom and dad but you know I wasn't careful and I made the wrong decisions and I had my miracle baby and I don't regret having her but I regret having her Go through this um, right now she doesn't know she doesn't understand she knows her dad um, but she pretty much knows me and her grandparents and my little cousin next door but besides that um, I'm so afraid as she gets older and she starts to understand like and start school and see other kids who's got a mom and dad. Like, I don't know what the future is going to be like. Like, when we go to school meetings, functions, and um, if her dad's not around, she's going to feel something. And little kids pick up things right away. Kids are sensitive. And other kids can be cruel. And she might ask me certain questions, and I might not give her the best answer, which will make her even more sad. And those are some of the things I'm so afraid of. I'm afraid to break her heart. I'm afraid that she's going to be so sad and ask me why. And um, I make sure that I give her the best love as I can since the day she was born until now. And in the future, um, I'm just so afraid that she's going to have her moment as she gets older and be like, what's wrong with you? Or she'll get mad at me about something and just blame that I wasn't a good enough mother. That is why mom, you're single. That is why you don't have a husband or boyfriend and it's all your fault and I hate you. Those are my fears. Um, it will break my heart to have her say stuff like that to me. But um, let's just hope something like that doesn't happen. Um, yeah. I think that's pretty much what's been going on and how it feels to be a single mother. Just native thoughts that you think people would think of you or look at you as. Um, and just fears of what my daughter would think when she starts to understand more stuff. And just the struggle <laughs> of everyday life, juggling things by yourself with a child with no extra help when you're out and about, you know. But... Besides that, I am blessed that even though my parents drive me insane, um, they watch my child. They watch my child a lot. And um, actually, one last thing I wanted, wanted to add. Um, I don't know if all parents... Are all Asian parents are like this? I don't know. Or just in general, grandparents. 
you know, I've been talking to my vlogs, you know. Like, I'm so blessed that my parents watch just my daughter, but <sighs> I feel like if I had a husband and lived on my own, I wouldn't have this situation. Um, and I've talked to my therapist when I did have a therapist. Um, I, f I feel like my mom took my motherhood away or, you know, my, my parents, my mom, my stepdad, because, you know, I mentioned, like, I never gave my daughter her first bath. I have never get to give her first hug when she got her first in injections at her um, primary doctor. Um, it was something that my mom just did right away, and I couldn't just step in because she just grabbed my daughter and, and, and held her as she was crying, and I stood there feeling selfless, feeling so stupid when that moment when my daughter's in pain after getting those injections for the first time, I didn't get a hold or I didn't get a comfort her. So that was taken away and I slowly tried to get over it but it hurt so bad because I wanted that experience. And then like giving her a bath, You, if you guys watched old videos when she was born, she had her first like bath. Um, we wipe her body with, you know, warm water and a cloth, and my mom did it. I wanted to do it, but she's, she just got it and did it. I couldn't, like, just grab my baby. I couldn't just, like, yank my daughter, you know what I mean? You don't do stuff like that, but it's just, again, you just freeze, and, like, and then I try to explain that, and, you know, there's a language barrier, you know. Until now, it breaks my heart because it's like, my parents had a chance to be parents to their own kids. You know, my mom had other kids and they passed away before I, w I was adopted. And that was my turn. That was my chance. It was my dream to have a child, you know. And in this case, I'm a single mom. So that that's pretty much my experience of being a single mom and, you know, living under parents' roof, being Asian-American. Um, yeah. Yep. There's probably more stuff that I miss, but overall, those are pretty much my concerns and, you know, frustrations and a daily life. That's why one thing I can't really do, like, a day in the life with my daughter because I don't live on my own. There's certain things where I want to vlog, but I can't because I have my parents around and they probably think I'm crazy. Um, yeah, my, my mom just have her mindsets on certain things. It's either, I don't know, I can't explain it. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you guys can relate. But um, any of you guys who, who are feeling such negativity because you are, are a single parent, um... It's okay, just just do you and make sure your child is well taken care of and that you're doing the best that you can. And that's what I'm doing too. And no one is perfect. There's so many single dads and single moms out there who did it, who made something of themselves. It might be hard, it might be a struggle. Like me, I'm struggling every day, but I make it work. And um, Ava has everything that she needs, even if it means me not having what I want for myself. As long as that child gets first, that's what matters. And as long as your child is happy, that little smile makes up for everything when I'm having a bad day. <sighs> makes me sad when I go home. She looks at me and smiles and laughs. That just completes my heart. The fact that I'm single, the fact that I don't have a hubby, a boyfriend, the fact that I don't have a certain amount of money, um, the fact that I don't have too many friends, you know, and it's it's okay. It's okay. Your your kids see it and sometimes I need to remind myself that. So make sure you remind yourself that it's okay and um, everything does happen for a reason, so I'm still waking up. I'm still waking up and doing what I need to do with the bad and the good. So, hope you guys can relate and understand and give me 
um, some comments what you guys think and what you guys have gone through and just let me know. So that is it. I'm just going to start rambling some other stuff. So thank you for watching, guys. Bye. Actually, I got some more stuff to say. I'm not done yet. I'm not done. This video is probably all over the place, but I just want to make sure I said everything that I've been thinking for the last two years. Um, another thing is, I know it's not too important, it's like the last thing in my mind, and just that fear of like, I'll be single forever and that nobody wants a single mom or to date someone with kids, but um, I also know because friends have told me that it's easier for a single mom to have somebody than a single dad to have somebody. I don't know. But I also just thought that it's okay. Um, I'm also at that age. I'm pretty much 35. I'll be 35 in March and a lot of people are either divorced, separated, or single like me. And then with kids as well um and to that i also i don't know i'm just giving a bad rap i just don't want like i already have a daughter and i do want more kids in the future if i still have that time i don't want to be an older mom in the 40s and i just don't like the feeling of having another child with another man so basically having the thought of having two fathers and you know if the next person is in my life you know I'm married and stuff it's just that thought like I don't know this is weird so that's one of my warriors least warriors things um I don't plan on seeing anybody in your future I don't see myself with anybody period because I just don't meet people but <clears throat> and then one last thing it happens off and on like when I talk to people um that are curious about my life and how I was dealing with you know Ava and her dad um yes her dad is not the best person but he's also not the <clears throat> baddest person um people just assume because you know he wasn't there for you know her birth he's we don't see him all the time he doesn't get to take home Ava again Ava's always been at this house um but at the same time people that are not in my shoes um especially people who are married or have their significant other always start to say such bad things about him. I mean, I think I have a right to say bad things about him because I know him personally. I have been around him. I have seen the bad, but I have also seen the good. And that is something that other people that aren't me are also going to think, are also going to think that, that he's always bad. He's, he's always no good. So... They're expressing their opinions on him to me, and it makes me feel like shit. It makes me feel so stupid that, yeah, I'm a stupid girl that got pregnant with this douchebag. And I don't want to hear it because <clears throat> he is the father of my child, and I wouldn't want my daughter to hear something bad about him in that way if she was to hear that. So I think people need to be... A little sensitive when it comes to subjects like that but I don't think people understand or really have that intentions of being hurtful to me but it's just something that I find comfortable sometimes when I talk to people about you know issues I have you know but it's the other response is always usually very negative so yeah, so those are some of the things I go through as being a single mom. <laughs>